Welcome to Narrowboat James Built. I hope you're well, thanks for joining me. I'm carrying on that end of the boat in terms of finishing it because, well, we're spending more time up there now and I'm gonna turn my attention to the bathroom and specifically the window because it hasn't been finished yet. Well, it hasn't even been started to be honest. Um, so I need to kind of make a nice surround for that and make that somehow look a bit more presentable. Um, change the bit behind the toilet because well it's really dark and gloomy down there and kind of can't see anything so kind of get some lighting in there and finish that up nicely move some stuff around the sink so it's a bit more kind of user friendly that'll be the plan but a cup of tea first and currently this is what the bathroom looks like i.e um, not very nice all a bit unfinished that area there is all a bit dark and gloomy so i'd like to kind of make that all decent um and if i move my wash bag then you can actually see the spray foam on the inside so i want to sort that out the window is dreadful uh, so i want to fix sort that out so i'm going to go and get myself some i think probably just some ply and put that down treat it with something and then put that down i need to paint it all and basically just make it all half decent. Move that, get somewhere for all the kids' toothbrushes, because I've got about a million of them. And then, uh, yeah, start to make it look a bit more presentable in here. I've trimmed this back, so it's all flush. So I'm gonna put some trim on, on here, some pine, I think it's gonna be. I'd like to do oak, but I might do oak in the other parts of the uh, boat, but this bit here is gonna be pine. The problem I'm gonna have is squeezing it behind these brackets here and they don't come off so on that bit there I might have to I don't know, do some jiggery pokery around that bit and try to get it all smartened up and cleaned up and stuff it looks dreadful at the moment this bit here should be slightly easier to squeeze it through that gap and I should really mitre it on the corners but I'm not going to bother because you're not really going to see the corners. This is all going to be finished. And I'll mitre that edge there, those corners there I'll mitre. This one here, I was thinking about making a window seal that came out. Hmm, don't know yet. Okay, so the bits I'm using for this is some Oji, so pine Oji, which is what, skirting board, dado rail, whatever. Uh, but I'm going to have it that side in, that side out. And to go along the hatches and everything, I've got this, which is 4 mil pine. This is 40, 46 mil wide, so I'm going to have to trim some of it off. But I didn't want... The other one was 36 wide, which was just a little bit too narrow. So, um, yeah, that'll be fine. Um, and I'm going to get some uh, get some wax on it, and hopefully it'll darken it and make it look a little bit more like oak right so i got all these two uprights in they're not fully done, done yet obviously i'm just getting cutting them to size and that top one the bottom one though is a uh, a touch too short which is uh annoying so i think i'm gonna have to instead of going and getting some more of this i think i'm gonna opt for a slightly bigger kind of windowsill there and that might take up some of that oral bit in the corner there that if I was to put that on there you'd still see that kind of cornery bit the other thing I'm thinking is that in there well in there is just a trough so it doesn't do anything but I reckon I could squeeze some lights into that it's going to be like that with a little chain of lights illuminating that glass which from the outside would look cool. Okay, this is where I've got up to. Okay, I'll cut that piece down. So it overhangs there so that I can put some trim along that side, which will obviously cover up the gap there because it'll sit proud of all of this. And then I've got to fill in all that bit there. So that will overhang like that a little bit. Still got room for the toilet seat to come up to about there when it's up. So that works all right. I'll put a ball nose on the end of this, so make it nice. And then I've got to pop to the shop to get some wax. So I reckon instead of painting that white in gloss, because then the whole thing will look a bit white and sterile, I think I might make it stand out with some dark 
kind of wood stain, like a wax or something like that. Yeah, that'll work. I've glued in that top one and that side one there. And I've got that kind of wedging it all in place. And my tracksuit bottom's wedging that top one in with the uh, window ajar. I've then got to glue that piece in there once those have set, slide that bit out and then attach the bottom bit there. And I've already cut all these bits. So I've got all that to go. I'm just gonna do all those one by one. And I think I'm gonna glue them on as well. Or I might, add, no, I'm not, I'm gonna pin them through, I think. Glue and pin. So I've cut this out and put a nice ball nose on it. There we go. And now I'm gonna put some wax on it. I've had to go out and buy some new stuff. So I've got black bison. All right, let's crack on with this. Right, so I've just glued that in place. That's the sill. And that pole is holding that top one in. So, the first bit is complete. I've sanded all that back. Need to put a little bit more filler in that. So this is all glued in place now. I've put a couple of pins in these uprights as well, in those bits of trim as well. But that's looking pretty good. I've just got that last bit, bit to do there and then paint, finish off sanding down that and paint that up a bit. I'm not gonna be able to do that bit tonight because I haven't got a piece of board big enough to go in there. But I'm chuffed with how that's come out. That's made it look really good. Well, this is uh, kind of taking shape quite nicely. cleaned up that stuff I'm thinking I might paint that I think that's just aluminium so I'm thinking I might paint that a different color because it doesn't look very good in gold I've still got that one little bit of trim there to do I've started tidying up this little area here so yeah chuffed with that I'm glad I went for went for that on there made a little sill that's pretty decent yeah, that's all right, just uh, glued and tacked in place. Right, so I've put this backboard on here. Uh, I've put a little boxing thing in there to cover up the pipe work. So I'm gonna get a bit of pine to kind of put ball nose on and just kind of fill in that gap there, basically. But I haven't got a bit at the moment. So I'm just gonna slap on some gloss paint on this and on the back there and uh yeah that should be uh that should be me done oh no i've got to move that oh and i've got to put some things on the wall no i've still got quite a bit to do okay well i'm continuing to get some feedback and uh, the most recent bit of feedback was that she uses the her the reflection in the oven to do her hair and makeup or whatever so i need a bar i need a a mirror in the bathroom um, and whilst the paint's drying I thought that's what I'll turn my attention to now this is the mirror I've got it's one of those double-sided shaving kind of mirrors um, it came with like sticky brackets that you stick it onto the wall with and I've tried it and each well it keeps falling off basically so that's no good um, so I'm gonna attach it onto the wall with some brackets I've, I've taken the little brackets off this and I've cut myself a couple of bits of oak which I need to 
polish up and clean up and stuff. And the idea is I'll put put a hole halfway up there, put a hole, you know, that kind of thing basically, sit on the wall, and then she can use that to do her hair or whatever. Hmm. Right, that'll be the plan. Just sanding up these two little bits of oak here to uh, take the mirror, but it's good. I've got the got the uh, EcoFlow River plugged into the solar panel, charging my phone on a USB C, so that takes about 18 amps. But I've also got this running, and the sun's providing more power than I'm using, which is pretty cool. Right, so I've sanded these down, put some holes in it, so it takes the mirror quite nicely. Didn't realise at that time, but that's got kind of a symmetrical pattern that's rather nice and i've got it flat on those sides so it can go against the wall kind of like that all right well it's not the finest mirror in the world but works quite nicely i think that's at the right height for her well it's kind of it's not i can see in it but i've got to kneel down to do so that's kind of my head height. So I can see my chest and the top of my neck. But it's not about me. So uh, yeah, that's quite nice. You can have it kind of any way, which works well. That doesn't really work at all. But yeah, happy days. I'm gonna carry on with stuff in the bathroom. Um, a subscriber a while ago gave me this, Graham. Uh, it's basically gave me an oak TV cabinet, which I've smashed apart and this is one of the bits of it and I'm going to turn this into a toilet roll holder all right this is starting to take a bit more shape this is looking all right now thinking of a toilet roll holder and I'm thinking of I've cut a piece of oak so I'm thinking about the placement of that and if I have a piece of towel standing up I'm just going to put one on it I don't want to use it as a storage area for them but I reckon that'll be alright it's kind of in an area that you're not going to kind of well you're not going to be using that area and that's kind of exactly where you want it so I reckon kind of nice and close to the sink there so we've just spent ages sanding that no one's ever going to see it but hey we will Right, so the thing is, I'm going to want to look like the toilet roll is balancing on there. So I've got a bit of dowel, which I'll put through. And then I think I'll trim it to about kind of yay height. So it holds the toilet roll in place, but it doesn't, you can't see it poking up. So hole through that. Glue. Yeah, glue that in. Let it set. Happy days. I put some Danish oil on that to uh, bring the colour out, bring the grain out. And on the pine dowel, I put some of that black bison wax, which is kind of brought up to a similar colour. So that's pretty nice. That works out pretty well. There you go, fits on nicely. Next job is to raise the wash hand basin, but to do that, I need a new bit of pipe. So I can't do that just yet. Um, and that's about it. Then I can box that bit of piping in there, just underneath that. And then that'll be, uh, yeah, that'll be good. It's looking a lot better though. I'm well happy with how that window's turned out. And the toilet, the composting toilet comes with a fan. Um, to be honest, I never use it. So I've changed the switch. So I now have a light under there. Happy days. Many of you might be thinking about what happens if this gets wet and over time it might all start to decay and fall apart um that might that might be the case after many years but i've had it kind of exposed for the last couple of years and it's been fine um so i'm pretty sure now i've treated all that pine um i'm, I'm sure it's going to be fine this boat doesn't seem to be particularly moist in terms of condensation or anything so yeah i reckon i'll be be fine with that right so now i've moved that along to there I need to put something here I reckon toothbrushes can go there right this is the bit I'm going to use um, so I'm just going to cut that out in a nice kind of 
pattern if I can get it kind of to match up that would be slightly better and then drill some holes in it and then I don't know yeah chuck it on the wall right toothbrush holder is in and I had to do it on an angle so when you drop the toothbrushes in it kind of fits in well and carries five bigger people's toothbrushes little kids big people and smaller kids. Bathroom looks heaps better now I've done the window. I mean, the little bits on the wall just kind of fill out the wall a little bit, to be honest, but the window was really good. And I wanted it to be a bit of a test because the windows in here, I'm probably, well, they're okay because they're eclipsed by the curtains. So you can't really see too much of it, but the hatches, that is a different story. Um, they've been pretty, uh, left alone since I put them up like ages ago so um, but they're not finished so I want to basically do the same thing that I've done in the bathroom window in the hatches around here um, so I'm going to see if I can get some oak but I might just do it in that pine because when I used the black bison wax on that stuff it worked really well uh, and it made it look a bit oaky so I reckon that'll be it my only problem is it's the colouring so I don't really know in here, if I was to do it that oak kind of colour, it's going to clash against the uh, yellow orange hue on the upper walls. So, and I don't want to do it white gloss because the hatches are white gloss. So I don't know. I'll have to work that out. But yeah, I'm going to go and get myself some of that trim. So that'll be the next kind of big transformational thing in here, which will make it look really good. Now the windows are dressed to dress the hatches. Yeah, that'd be excellent. Hope you guys are very well. Until next time, take care. Bye bye.